more than 100 countries and they are the best-selling best cookie in the world. Um, Oreos aren't just milk's favorite cookie, they are, they are uh, but they can be used to make many different tasty treats. In this speech, I will be telling you about what Oreos are made from, create some crazy good flavors they have, and what yummy treats can be made using them. Um, first thing I will be talking to you guys about is the different ingredients Oreos are made from. Um, so the main ingredients they're made from is enriched all-purpose flour and um, high to fructose corn syrup, um, artificial flavoring, sugar, cocoa, and of course chocolate. Um, one, one cookie, one small, simple little Oreo cookie takes 59 minutes to be made, and it might be made up for a lot, really long amount of time. Um, the ratio for um, Oreos is 71% cookie and 29% Oreo filling. Oh. <laughs> and um, or Nabisco has always owned Oreos ever since they were first introduced into the world. And um, the next thing I will be talking to you guys about is the different, all the cool different flavors that um, they have come up for Oreos. Um, ever since the day March 6, 1912, when they were introduced in New York City. Um, Oreos have come up with all sorts of different flavors, mostly any flavor that you could think of. Um, some common flavors in the U.S. are peanut butter, double stuff, the golden Oreos, cool mint Oreos, and um, they also have reduced fat ones too. <laughs> um, the, recently there's two new flavors that um, Oreos have made, and that's Marshmallow Crispy and Cookie Dough Oreos. And in my opinion, the Cookie Dough Oreos aren't very good. I've tried those, and they taste like coffee, so if you like coffee, then I guess you probably like them. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, in China, well, lots of other countries have made up their own flavors, but for China, some of the flavors that they made up is um, green tea ice cream, mm. that sounds really gross, yeah. And um, double fruit ice cream, um, they've made for the double fruit, the two are mango and orange, and blueberry, and raspberry, I think? I don't know, there's some weird flavors. And Indonesia, they've made or, um, orange ice cream and blueberry ice cream. Um, um, and the Last thing I'm going to be talking to you about is all different kinds of foods you can be make with Oreos, using Oreos. Um, over the years, people, different food places like McDonald's and Dairy Queen have incorporated Oreos into the incorporated Oreos into the um, ice cream. And um, McDonald's, they put Oreos in their ice cream, and that's called a Oreo McFlurry. And at Dairy Queen, it's called Corner Blizzard. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, some things that you can make Oreos with would be like Oreo pudding, Oreo fluff, Oreo truffles, uh, Oreo pie crust, which is just using a cookie and using that as a pie crust. crust. Um, here's some other stuff like there's Oreo cheesecake, that's popular, I've that had that. Um, peanut butter Oreo cupcakes. Um, those are using the peanut butter flavor. So like, you can make not just with the regular flavor, but you can make stuff with the other kinds of flavors too. Um, here's Oreo ice cream. Lots of lots of people have made Oreo. You put Oreos in ice cream, and there's some Oreo truffles, which I brought those today for you guys. And um, some other um, fun facts about Oreos is that they were originally um, 30 cents per pound. Yeah, that's how they were sold. And um, they got their name Oreo. It's a Greek word which means mountain. And their first Oreos were like shaped like a mountain, and they weren't flat like how they are today. And yeah, they were shaped like a mountain except no peak. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, this speech, I talked to you guys about the, what their Oreos are made from, and what different flavors Oreos have, and different types of foods you can make using Oreos. Um, Oreos aren't just milk syrup cookie, they can be used to make many different tasty treats, as you guys probably know now, but I told you about
about all the different types you could do, types of foods. And so next time you guys buy into an Oreo cookie, you think about what else you could do to make your food and use Oreos to make it really good.